The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has rolled out additional preventive measures for individuals, employers, and businesses following federal government's May 4 easing of COVID-19 lockdown in parts of the country. Dr. Chikwe Hekwazu, Director General of NCDC, told the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, on Tuesday in Abuja that the new directives resulted from evolving knowledge of COVID-19 locally and nationally. Hekwazu said that this will be applied nationwide to individuals as well as businesses, employers and employees. Mandatory use of non-medical face masks or covering for all persons and overnight curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. This means that all movements will be prohibited during this period except for essential services. Mandatory provision of hand washing facilities or sanitizers. Single use latex gloves are discouraged except in clinical settings or if used, they should be disposed of safely after each single use. Restrictions on interstate travel except for essential services or transportation of agricultural produce and other essential goods and extensive temperature checks on entry into the business premises and other public places. Physical distances of two, distancing of two meters between people in workplaces and other public places and no large gatherings of more than 20 people outside the workplace, he said. The DG advised employers and businesses to take the following measures seriously with a view to reducing the risk of spreading COVID-19 in the workplace. Provide hand washing facilities or alcohol-based sanitizers. Promote thorough and frequent hand washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, he advised. He said that employers could reduce the risk of spread of virus by ensuring extensive temperature checks on entry into office and business premises. Mandate the use of non-medical face mask or covering for all staff at all times. Develop physical distancing strategies within the office or business environment to safeguard the health and safety of employees in line with guidelines set out by the NCDC. Where staff members have regular face-to-face -face contact with customers, ensure they have the necessary protective equipment to keep them safe and their health protected. Develop an infectious disease preparedness action plan to reduce the risk of exposure in the workplace and communicate it to all staff members. This includes identifying a central person focused on coordinating COVID-19 matters. Ensure the contact details and emergency contact details of all staff members are kept up to date and they are always easily accessible. Ensure that staff members know how to spot the symptoms of coronavirus and they have a clear understanding what to do if they feel unwell. Mandating unwell employees to stay at home. Display signage in your office or business premises, reminding staff and visitors to maintain good and respiratory hygiene. Discourage the sharing of work equipment, tools, computers, phones and desks, he said. According to Ihe Kwazu, employers can also adapt business practices to reduce the spread of COVID-19 by developing policies and practices that enable employees to work more flexibly and remotely. Working from home and leverage technology to arrange virtual meetings with employees and clients. Ensure adequate space between employees, minimum of two meters. Limiting staff to about 30% to 50% of the normal workspace capacity. Limit customers in the business premises to about 30 to 50% capacity at any one time. Decide on the level of staff required to come to work as the business reopens. For example, support staff, receptionists, catering staff. Consider the staggered reintroduction of staff members into the office using staff rosters and flexible work hours 
or work shifts. Where possible, businesses should provide transportation for their employees to limit their use of public transportation. Limit the number of visitors to your office premises and take advantage of enterprise video conferencing tools. Put into place flexible workplace policies to respond to staff absenteeism with an efficient process to ensure the smooth handover of work from one staff member to the other when required, he stated. The DG advised businesses to take advantage of delivery companies to limit their staff movement outside the office. If any employee is showing known symptoms of COVID-19, they should immediately self-isolate in a separate room in the office or business premises and call the state helpline or contact LCDC on 0800-9700-0010 for further guidance, he said, advising that in such a case, employers should carry out a risk assessment to ascertain whether there is a need to close the office or business premises. Employers or businesses may also encourage staff to work from home until the outcome of test results is known. Employers should also continue to ensure basic hygiene advice is followed. I'll take that again. Employers should also continue to ensure basic hygiene advice is followed. Work premises are kept clean and waste is disposed of appropriately. Once the results are available, business owners will be advised accordingly, he explained. Yegu has said that in a case where COVID-19 is confirmed at workplace, the employers should immediately contact the State Ministry of Health, which will now contact the workplace to discuss the case, identify people who have been close contact of the employee, and advise on further actions or precautions that should be taken. He said that based on the assessment of the work premises, which would include shutting down temporarily and disinfecting the premises, the HEPA has said that employees who were contacts will be asked to self-isolate for 14 days from the last time they had contact with the confirmed case. He noted that employees who were living in a household with a confirmed case of COVID-19 should also be asked to self-isolate for 14 days until all members in the household receive a negative, a negative test confirmation. The DG, however, said that if they develop known COVID-19 symptoms during the self-isolation period, they should contact their state helpline or NCDC on 0800-9700-0010. He said that the definition of a contact includes a staff member includes face-to-face -face or touching contacts, including those undertaking small group work within two meters of the case according to News Agency of Nigeria. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.